Hi, Sarah Jacobs here. Today we're talking about birth certificates and how and when it's appropriate to add or change information on a child's birth certificate. While the actual modification of the information takes place through the New Jersey Department of Health's Office of Vital Statistics, there's a lot of important information you need before you get to that step. First, let's start out with an important premise. The state of New Jersey considers that a child born to any two people, in this case, a man and a woman, while they are legally married, is the biological child of both of the married people, even if the father is biologically someone else. So what happens then if you're in a committed relationship with someone and you're either pregnant or your partner is pregnant, but you or your partner is legally married to someone else. If the baby is born, it is considered the biological child of the mother and the partner with whom the mother is married to. Therefore, if you're separated or divorcing from your legal spouse and your legal spouse is not the biological father of your child, you need your partner or ex-spouse to sign an affidavit of denial of paternity stating that he is not the biological father of your child. At that point, the biological mother and the biological father can sign a certificate of parentage form and submit that with other documentation to have the biological father added to the birth certificate. If the mother's legal husband was added at the time of the child's birth, and he now signs the affidavit of denial form, the Office of Vital Statistics will reissue the child's birth certificate with the biological father's name included. But what happens if the non-biological father can't be found or is uncooperative? That's the time when you, the biological mom, have to get the court involved. You need to file a petition with the court stating all of the facts and circumstances including the fact that the, your legal husband won't sign an affidavit of denial of paternity and explaining why you want someone else to be named the biological father of your child. What happens when you've had a child, but you weren't married to the child's biological father at the time that your child was born, and you didn't add the father's name to the birth certificate at that time? Thankfully, this one's pretty simple. There's a form that you can fill out together with proofs and documentation and submit it to the Office of Vital Statistics, and they will issue a birth certificate with the father's name included. What happens if you had a baby, didn't add the biological father's name to the birth certificate at the time of the child's birth, have now married someone who isn't the biological father, but you still want the biological father's name to be added to the birth certificate? Slightly more complicated than the last scenario, but easily resolvable. Again, there's a form for the Office of Vital Statistics that you can fill out, but you'll need to prove when you did get married to the non-biological father that you weren't married to anybody else, that person or someone else at the time of your child's birth, and proof that the biological father and you want his name added to the birth certificate. If you submit a certificate of parentage form together with all that documentation, the birth certificate should be reissued with the biological father's name included. What happens if you weren't married at the time that your child was born and your child's birth certificate reflects your last name as your child's last name, and now you want to amend it and have your child's biological father listed and your child's last name switched to his? Luckily, that's an easy fix. There's a form that you can fill out with the Office of Vital Statistics and you don't even need a court order for it. What if you wanna change your child's name on their birth certificate for another reason? This is a very popular question that we get from our clients, especially when they're going through divorce and custody proceedings. The question is, why do you wanna change your child's last name? Do you wanna hyphenate and have your child have two last names reflecting both parents? Is your child's name hyphenated now and it would be easier for your child just to have one? Did you have an adoption of your child from a step parent and you want your step parent's last name to be reflected in the birth certificate? 
These are all complicated fact questions, and the court really needs to take into consideration the reasons behind the name switch, whether there's any bad will going on, or whether this is in the best interest of the child. Once the court hears your application and makes a determination, if the court issues a name change order, you can take that order to the Office of Vital Statistics, along with other proofs, and the Office of Vital Statistics will reissue a birth certificate with the name reflected on the court's order. What if your child is now 18, considered a legal adult, and wants to change their name and then their name on their birth certificate? First, they have to file an application with the court requesting the name change. The court will want to know all the reasons why and will review the application, which is really important and you should have a family lawyer assist you with in order to make that determination. Assuming that the court enters the order for a name change, the process is simple from there. You take the name change order together with whatever forms and documents the Office of Vital Statistics requires, send it in, and the birth certificate will be amended and returned to you. The takeaway here, do your homework. Talk to a lawyer about your specific facts and circumstances and about all the options available to you. We've been helping families like yours de-stress the process and understand where they need to go. We look forward to hearing from you and helping you in the same way.